The waiting will aggravate you. The calling it early and making the state, making a mistake, will bury you. And here we go. This is a Fox News election alert. Pennsylvania goes to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the president of the United States. And there's the big board, the 20 electoral votes from the state of Pennsylvania. We just got new metrics in. Donald J. Trump is the president of the United States elect. He won't be inaugurated until January, but the word has just reached the New York Hilton. Donald J. Trump, the son of a Queens millionaire, defied all conventional wisdom and all expectations. The long-term practices of the Republican Party were stood on their head. He spoke to the disaffected. He spoke a sense of trickle-down economics. Uh, there's our, we've updated our electoral scorecard. What is going on? We are going to make this decision now. The Fox News decision desk has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal, surreal <laughs> election we have ever seen. This candidacy starting on an escalator ride one year ago and going down against 16 Republican candidates. What started off as unlikely, impossible, is now reality. And distinct privilege to introduce to you the President-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race. CNN projects Donald Trump wins the presidency. The business tycoon and TV personality capping his improbable political journey with an astounding upset victory. Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States, defeating Hillary Clinton in a campaign unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. Donald Trump wins the presidency of the United States. He is now going to be called president-elect Donald Trump. He's walking up right now. You see him right there. He's going to be speaking momentarily. He's got his wife there. History has been made. Jake, this is a moment a lot of people are going to remember. Well, the first time in the history of this country uh, that somebody who has never held any job in government or the military being elected to the presidency I've gotten to know our country so well, tremendous potential. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Every single American will have the opportunity to realize his or her fullest potential. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. We are going to fix our inner cities and rebuild our highways, bridges, tunnels, airports, schools, hospitals. We're going to rebuild our infrastructure. We will do a great job. I look very much forward to being your president. And hopefully at the end of two years or three years or four years, or maybe even eight years, You will say, so many of you work so hard for us, but As Donald you will Trump say uh, that continues to speak to the excited that, crowd so here in New York, we can tell you our decision desk has now uh, put Wisconsin and, and Pennsylvania and in I the can, Trump column, the much. apparent winner. And I can and, only uh, say that, makes, uh, Trump the, uh, that the president while the campaign elect. is over, and of course, as he noted, uh, Secretary Clinton had already called and really conceded. Let's listen now to Donald Trump. We're going to get to work immediately for the American people. And we're going to be doing a job that hopefully you'll be so proud of your president. You'll be so proud. Hillary, you're fired. Fired. Everybody's always blaming me for everything. All the boys for Trump, you mega. All the girls for Trump, you mega. All the veterans for Trump, you mega. Stand up, get the mega, you mega. Make America.
America great again. Make 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 America great again.